All right, so this is an organic chemistry question, number two. It's asking us, predict the major product for the following reaction, fuming H2SO4. I keep getting it wrong. Test bank question 072, your answer is incorrect. Okay, so it's just basically predict, right? So basically I care about uh, this guy here. So I have his benzene. There we go. So this is basically reactions of aromatic compounds, right? So I have, I have a benzene here. Oops, it's not that pretty. That wasn't pretty either, there we go. So benzene here, I have an OCH3 group, so some ether group. I have CCl3. And then I have uh, this here, H3CO. H3CO, it's bonded to the O actually, so let me rewrite this here, H3CO. Okay, let me move this number two here. Okay. Yeah, so I, so I have this question here. It's asking us, if I react this with uh, fuming H2SO4, What do I get? So what this person wrote here is that they they actually wrote um, they wrote that. So I have again two ether groups here, two ether groups here. I have CCl3 here, and so they said it was going to react um, kind of uh, ortho to this ether group here, which is wrong. So and they said they they got the question wrong, and why is this wrong? So if you think about this question here. Um, we think about this question using kind of electron withdrawing and ele electron um, donating groups, right? We have um, CCl3 here. We have some sort of uh, uh, dipole moment, right? So this, this CCl3 is pulling electron density away from uh, from this benzene because it's, uh, it's a negatively charged halogen here. So it's pulling electron density away. Same with this oxygen and this um, oxygen as well. However, because there's three chlorines here, it's going to pull electron density much further away, right? So when we react it with um, fuming H2SO4, it's actually not going to go ortho to these guys here. It's not going to go to this position, uh, this position here, or this position here. It's not going to react to any of these positions. It's going to actually react with this position here. It's going to be para, or sorry, it's going to be ortho, not ortho, sorry. It's going to be para to this uh, CCl3. Sorry, I said ortho. This is para, sorry. So it's going to be para to uh, to CCl3 and not para to uh, H H3CO and OCH3 here. So let's see. What do they write here? This answer is writing, okay, O of me, that's good. So again, it's electron uh, directing group and the meta electronic group, which is good. So ortho to 1 and meta to CCl3. H2SO4, so this is the electrophile. So they have here, they actually have here, they wrote that this is going to go, um, go uh, para, para to H3CO here. So let's see, give me a second here. I'm just going to read their solution. So they said ortho to M -E -O -M -E and meta to CCO3. Yes. So it's ortho to, so basically, okay, so this solution here is correct. So so I, I kind of messed up here and I said that I mixed it up. So I mixed up that ortho here. It's going to be ortho to OME. So ortho to one of these, but it's also going to be meta to CCL3 here. And the reason why we have that is because just because we have, again, two electron directing groups and two, uh, with three t technically uh, electron directing groups, we have two unique ones. So we have one CCL3 and um, one that's a, a, a OHC3. And we know that this one here is a meta directing group, right? So this one's meta and OCH3 here is ortho and para. Para meaning that it is... Um, Para meaning that it's uh, very much uh, opposite. So para would have been para to OCH3 here would be this point. Para to o OCH3 would be this point as well. But it can also add um, para, right? It can also add, um, sorry, it can also add ortho. Ortho is simply just um, 
just uh, this point here and this point here is right beside the OCH group. But we also have to take consider CCL3. Right? When we consider CCL3 here, we're thinking of this meta position, right? Meta to CCL3 would be this position here. So if I want to satisfy both both um, CCL3 and OCH3 requirements, I'm going to have to do meta here. So meta it has to be meta here. So it can be either uh, this position or this position, but it has to be ortho ortho or as we do ortho to this position here which means the only position that's correct would be this position here so it's going to sulfonate at this position here so there's this answer is correct so i mixed it up when i said uh, ortho and para um, remember ortho is remember when we're talking about meta ortho and para we're talking about um uh the locations of the benzene the benzene um, the benzene substituents right so we're talking about the ortho para ortho para meta directors right so when we think about meta here meta is two away from the uh the electron directing group here and then when we think about meta or ortho here we're thinking about um right beside it right right beside it and para is uh right opposite of it the furthest away it would be para so let me let me write this down for you so this would be this would be closest uh and this would be second closest and this would be the opposite, right? Opposite is away. So if I want, again, I'm fulfilling meta here, which is the second closest here, which is this point, this point, and I'm fulfilling ortho here, which is this point or this point here. So this solution here is correct. And basically it's gonna sulfonate at this point here. So I'm gonna redraw the benzene. I have CCL3, uh, I have CH3CO, OCH3. And then finally, it's going to sulfonate at this point. So I'm going to SO3H here. So this solution here is correct. So it's going to and basically, we know that sulfonating is a protecting group. So it's going to protect uh, this point over here. So the solution is correct. They actually had it on the opposite side, but um, yes, the solution here is correct. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna move on to uh, number number three here. So let's do number three. <laughs>